I have been wanting for the last two years to do a rebranding, mm -hmm. um, something that we could create as our own. Uh, I've always felt that we we have more to offer than CrossFit. Uh, so I'm Mike Griffin. Mm -hmm. uh, I am the father of the two owners of the business. Mm -hmm. They just let me hang out here and do stuff, clean floors and do things like that. There's a lot of people that the thought of CrossFit scares them to death. They don't realize that it's very uh, adaptable to where you are physically. Um, definitely the people, all my gym mates, <laughs> my favorite class, my 630 Misfits. It was just to be back again with people who um, build up your positivity level, get you out of the funk of COVID and everything, and just make you feel good. You know, gives you that energy, that good vibe. And for everybody else, it's been a small adjustment. I mean, of course, we had our people that, you know, walk and ride, but we had the same thing coming from Jefferson Park mm -hmm. over the bridge, walking or riding. Um, and I think being a little more into the city has given us a bigger, you know, perimeter basically mm -hmm. to work with. Uh, we've been here open probably back for about two months. Um, we've had a good uh, flow of new people coming in uh, and we've retained most of our other people. Uh, we're there from uh, March of 2011 till about four months ago when we moved into this location. Uh, we've been looking for a different building or place to move for about two years and this one sort of fell into our lap. Yeah, I've been here for 11 years in the Tri-Cities. My brother has been here for roughly five. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I remember Arches Brewing before they were Arches Brewing. They would come to our, our gym events mm -hmm. and bring their home brews. So, you know, we've been in the neighborhood for a long time and uh, we've seen it grow and change and, you know, we've been changing with it. So, yeah.